I've got to do on mission. So we failed the job that Seiron official gave us. It was Kodama's fault. We couldn't help it. I never thought failing a mission would relieve me so much. Go do your bond episode. Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? Arashi is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. That doesn't Skipping surprise me. Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up. People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You can okay. find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? You care about a keyword is minimum. Much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned, but I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. She likes to cook too? Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She <laughs> liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. I see. That's why these rations are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Probably. Good grief, are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful they took me in. But my parents don't see me as family. That's sad. Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me. Protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. When someone protects you, you protect them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Of course. Now, I gotta go. So unfair. Arashi! This must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. You have some potential, Kasane. I could be your instructor if you want. I can teach you the fundamentals of Arashi style slacking off. Wouldn't you just slack off and not teach me anything? Hmm. I have nothing more to teach you. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that figures. A 
Okay, that'll come in handy. I never get bored watching you. I'm developing. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and reply to you real quick. Having a greater personal interest in you. I don't know what made you think that, but is deepening our understanding of each other a good thing? Okay. Of course, there's new products. I'll change those in a moment. One of those. Let's see if we exit. That. One of these. Let's talk to you first. Gifts. As Good usual, I'm knocking stuff over. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well, that lack of control is one of your good features. Okay, so that's level two, which means he'll protect hey, me occasionally. You see how great I am now? I don't know about Kasane, you come to see me. Let me guess, you've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. Disturbing things do tend to stand out. <laughs> I demand an apology and compensation. Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Kikuchiba? What are we going to do at a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Did you just call him weak? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? <laughs> There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait! We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? Sure. It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry. But at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training. Having them around was the whole point. Yep. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. 
Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like the entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He says so. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is. An arcade game? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take a Wait. prize? You borrowed a hacking program? It. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice, it worked. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then that one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I Basically hope he fails. Now. Start it up, turn here, and now! He dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. One more time. This time I'll get it for sure. He hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. <laughs> hey, you're cheating! All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. You brute forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. Okay, then. I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. It wasn't a date. <laughs> Oh, were you two together? Oh boy, looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. Yes, I hate it. Why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, Damn. that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways. And I am an old geezer. In fact, I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. Then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. <laughs> well, now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm glad you two are getting along so well. Call that getting along? Okay, I mean, if that's what you want to call getting along. Gotta get this. That is not what I want. Was it? Who was it? You, my bad. 
Thank you. Back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back again. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. Too late. Bump up the team bond level. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. Yep, let's go to the I next phase. Take a break. So, about our mission from the Ceyron government, I wrote in the report that we were interrupted and were unable to complete our assignment. Works for me. You mean I did. Honestly, I only did it because nobody around here bothers with the paperwork. Wow, Shiden, you're so reliable. Keep up the good work. Hey, watch it. I wonder if they're going to give us a new other suppression assignment. Karin made it seem like they would. Which reminds me. I'm curious about what Karin said in the future. It was... Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Finally. I can finally save her. Piecing together Karin's statements, Kasane's power must be a clue on how to reverse metamorphosis. Major Kyoka? Where did that come from? Oh. Well, maybe not. Karin did mention that we should have arrived earlier, so... He could have copied Kasane's psychokinesis whenever he wanted, but he hasn't. If what he wants is the Red Strings power, then the matter is not about finding a cure. He would take time and... Calm down, Kyoka. Why is she going ballistic? What's gotten into you? You almost sounded like Arashi when she's actually focused. Really? That's strange. I didn't think I was acting any differently. Trying to put all the pieces together, maybe you just fell into a trance. Whatever it was, your line of thinking was interesting. It does seem like Karin thinks Kasane is the key. Yes, she is very important to Major General Karin. There's no mistake about it. Do you think the reason I came to Seiron is because of Karin too? Probably. It's certainly a possibility. Wouldn't rule it out. What do you think he's planning? Sorry, Nothing good, I'm sure. The Kasane platoon has been given an other suppression assignment. There's a high probability for others appearing in the Mizuhagawa New City Development District. Head there immediately. You heard her. Let's head over and take care of this first. Then we can talk. Sounds good You're to right. me. There's no sense thinking about it now, but we should all be careful. This is the area the other report projected. Yes, our assignment is to exterminate any others that appear here. Why send us all the way out here? You would think there were other places more worth protecting. Get you out of the way. This area is actually a trade route to Togetsu. Yeah, I know it may not look like much, but it's actually pretty important. Togetsu may be an isolated religious state, but apparently trades happen when interests are aligned. In other words, the extent of the relationship is strictly business. So, what it sounds like. what does everyone want to do? Wow, did my ears just deceive me? I think Kasane just asked us for our opinion. 
Normally, she'd just rush out looking for others. I see. No one has any ideas. In that case, let's do what we normally do. Wait, nobody said we didn't have any ideas. Kagero, stop teasing Kasane. My bad, your highness. Don't get your panties in a bunch. My panties? <laughs> Who cares? Anyways, if you have an idea, speak up. As for ideas, I... No, we don't have any. I hacked the system to see what the transport schedule was today, but I couldn't find anything around this time. That means we can concentrate on exterminating the others. Everyone, stay vigilant and move forward. Wait! I just received a request for reinforcements. A transport team is being attacked by an other up ahead. What? Wow, really? Because Arashi literally just said there weren't going to be any transports now. It definitely wasn't on the schedule. If there's a transport team, it means this was off the books. The timing That's is odd. too convenient. There's a chance it could be a trap. Should we wait and see first? Haruka, is this reinforcements request coming from Seiron? Yes, it's an official OSF request. Then we have to answer. We're part of the Seiron OSF now. You're right. Besides, we can't just abandon people who need our help. Let's do what <clears throat> we can. Well then, time to find out what's waiting for us. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go find out what's going on. I'll send the location of the distress signal. <laughs> she has electrokinesis might work. I'll support you. <laughs> it was thanks to my power. I confirmed a water attack. Are you okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. Okay. And it's gone. That was a great attack. I'll do it. I'll go take care of the enemies as fast as possible. How long has the construction equipment been abandoned here? If they can't, it's over. All the construction, they should put them away. They may be difficult to maintain. I can't understand how they could just abandon them like this. Why don't they put them away? Oh, okay. I don't think there's anything to understand. They might not be able to operate anymore, but they could still be useful. Watch your head. We might be able to use them for an attack if we time them all. Okay. Give you a whack.
Works for me. And off it goes. Cut the legs and use the tail. I feel like I got it handled right now. Go ahead and use my power, Kasane. That seems to be the spot. It was thanks to my power. Go ahead. I'll do it. Gone. This one's gone. That was a great attack. It's up to you. I'll support you. It's working. Focus on useless. It's over. That's fine. Free heals, even though I think I was fully healed already. This the place? Are you all right? Are you with Kasane Platoon? Everything should be fine now that you're here. Don't talk. You're wounded badly. I'll fix you up as best I can. I'm okay, but you have to help my teammates first. The truck is still under attack. It's another, but it was human. Those Suo bastards transformed someone into another and... <laughs> transformed into another. This is a critical mission. You have to protect the truck and get it to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. <sighs> this is valuable information. Wait here for rescue. We'll take care of everything. 
Haruka. I've already requested a rescue team. The supernatural okay. life research facility. Isn't that the lab Naomi was in? Let's hurry. They won't get away with turning people into others. Oh, I wasn't going to go rush off on my own again. Are we all on board? I hate to agree, but I'm all for hurrying. Thank you, Sheedan. No need for thanks. Now come on, or I'm gonna leave you behind. Okay. Kasane is finally showing her vulnerable side. Or maybe she's just expanded her horizons. <laughs> I'm so happy we're all getting along. Now, let's go help the transport team. Definitely. Check this out. That's not a normal transport truck. Oh no. Come on, hurry up. Elevator's an elevator. That must be the truck. I don't see any members of the transport team. Hey, look, by the truck. There's someone there. They're hitting it with a stick or something. This is a damn sturdy door. Can't even hack it. Just break it down already. My of course it's her. Tired. Is that Kodama? What are you doing? Well, if it isn't the traitors. How have you been? Hmm? Why do you look so scared? Kodama, did you turn someone into an other and make them attack this transport team? I mean, this was headed for the Seiron Research Facility. I figured it had to have something important. You're trying to find out what they're researching by digging through their cargo? I swear, your methods are insane. It's the fastest way. So anyway, can you let me go just this once? Pretty please? Yeah, I don't think so. That's too bad. Well, I guess we're doing this. Don't get mad at me when I kill you. Okay, she's annoying. This will be fun. I'm off. Show me what you got. Turning people into others. How could you do something so awful? Oh, don't get so angry. I meant well. Ow. Okay, I am tired of running around chasing you. Use it well. Why is she licking the bat? Wait, what the? Kodama just... What's going on? It's not duplication. Is this a transformation ability? There's no sign of her using SAS. <laughs> Were you surprised by Master Kodama's secret? I never showed anyone before.
go ahead and shock her to death. Take the extra damage. All done. Kodama, throw down your weapon and don't make any sudden movements. We have a lot of questions for you. Well, you do have me surrounded. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Just kidding. What? You expected I wouldn't have a plan? What? <laughs> of course. Well, bye now. Looks like she got away. At least the truck seems fine. Do you want to escort it back to the facility then? Hmm. It did seem like it was an important mission from what the transport team member said. Maybe we should. Then I'll contact the superiors about the suppression assignment. Wait, I'm getting a reading nearby. It's not the Seiron OSF. It could be more of Kodama's men. Well, we obviously don't want anyone following the truck. So I'll go check it out and stop them here if it comes to that. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely tagging along, Major Kyoka. If it's an ambush, then I'm just the man for the job. It's my specialty. Arashi, please get this truck back to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. And it's go time. Good luck, kids. Weren't we supposed to discuss things first? Let it go. Anyway, we'll leave that to Kyoka and Kagero. We have a truck to transport. Does it still run? Sure does. It's got a few scrapes, but nothing serious. All I gotta the do is put it back on. The armor is full of dents. And Kodama did all this with just a metal pipe. Unbelievable. It's just stupid how incredibly strong she is. Hmm. Doesn't surprise me. Where have you been? Hurry up and unload the truck. I need to go get the lab ready. Great, now they're making us do manual labor too? This is turning out to be more of a pain than I thought. Haruka, any word from Kyoka or Kagero? Not yet. It's hard to get a good signal to Mizuhagawa. I think it's because of the extinction belt above. I see. Then let's get this over with. 
Can you all hear me? Great, you're all right. What about Kagero? You know me. I normally say I'm ship shape, but we've actually found ourselves in a tight spot. It wasn't Kodama's men in Mizu Hagawa. It was Yuito Platoon, and they noticed the truck. Yuito Platoon? Did you two... Yes. We couldn't have anyone following the truck. So we did what we had to do, which was fight them. It was only to buy some time, though. Then we used Major Kyoka's duplication and my invisibility to lose them. Which is how the story would go in a perfect world, but they've got Sugumi's eyes on their side. Ah, her clairvoyance. We can't let our guards down. Fair I'll enough. I'll rendezvous back with you after we throw them off our trail. You should still be careful, though. Copy that. Contact us if anything happens. Sorry, guys. Due to the extinction belt, I can't track Yuito Platoon. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just have to finish this annoying work first. Yep. We managed to get one truck unloaded. They all look like the same boxes. Huh. Shiden, what's wrong? Are you tired? What? No, I'm not tired. I was just curious what this cargo was. That's it. Damn. What are you doing? You can't unlock private cargo just because you're curious. No, it just unlocked on its own. <sighs> what is it? Did you find an other inside or something? Look. No. Mm -hmm. What is it? Th this is... A human head? This one too. All of these cases, they're filled with heads. What are they going to use them for? Wait. Food? Naomi yeah. said she takes the medication in the ampules. These are probably used to research the other weapons. Or maybe. No, I shouldn't be tossing around any theories at this point. So basically, these human heads are being transported from Togetsu? That research what it sounds you like getting the lab ready. We might be able to find something if we search the facility. We're not done unloading the truck, but I can't stop thinking about this. Let's go check out where he went. It'll be bad if Yuito finds this location. Will we have to fight them too? We don't have a choice. Possibly. Hopefully, Kyuka handles it so we don't have to do that. <laughs> All light jelly. Whatever makes this easier. I don't have to run through the whole dang thing again. Go down there. Let's find out what's going on. Really do hate this place. The stench is just awful. I was right. It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. Others feed on human brains, and this facility houses others, and... Ampules! How could... these ampules... but that means Naomi... Yep. Intruders were just detected coming in from the facility's rear entrance. I've also received an update on our assignment from Seiron. The intruders are Yuito Sumeragi and New Himuka OSF members, and we are to eliminate them, no matter what. Damn it! Of course they'd come now. Seems like Seiron really wants Yuito dead. They must be desperate to eliminate the threat the Kunad Gate poses. Eliminate them. What are you going to do, Kasane? We should kill him. To save the world. But I know I haven't been listening to anyone else. So maybe Yuito wants to talk to me, like all of you did. Wait, one more thing. 
If we refuse this assignment, they said they would dispose of the research subjects in order to bury the What evidence. the? So they're taking Naomi as a hostage. That's yeah. messed up. And knowing that Naomi is your one soft spot, I probably would have done the same if I were them. But can they really do that? She's still an important research subject to them. And there's no way Major General Karin would let them. He didn't want Yuito to be assassinated. That may be true, but that still doesn't prove that Karin would protect Naomi. Although I can't picture him treating human-born others like mere objects either. However, this assignment came to us officially, which means there's a chance it came with Karin's approval. They could also be bluffing. What's important isn't whether or not they're bluffing. It's how certain we are they won't harm Naomi. That's messed up. And it doesn't help that we've already failed one assassination attempt. This response seems natural if they suspect we have ulterior motives. It's not like we can break Naomi out and take her with us. Does that mean we have no other choice but to fight Yuito? Hmm. Let's hide. Are you serious? Naomi is in danger. I know, but fighting them out in the open wouldn't be smart. We should hide in the next area and ambush them. That would give us an excuse to leave here and would buy us some time to think. Haruka, report our plan to them. We'll lie in wait for the intruders and stand by for an opportunity to attack. Copy that. Good luck. That's really the only option at this point. Yuito Platoon is headed to the factory block as predicted. They will arrive in 30 seconds. Yep. We've been ordered to send the control system data to Seiron after we make contact with Yuito. In other words, they'll be monitoring your conversation. Be careful. Understood. Yuito Platoon arriving in five, four, three. Well, that's just annoying. What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? Uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place and the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. No, it won't. Well, we have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiving. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said. Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. That's actually pretty smart. Of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. Same. That's fine with me, too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules. I think I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. <sighs> <sighs>
Didn't hold back, did you? <sighs> Damn it. Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical's Seiron factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait, let's talk. Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? I thought you were amazing since you were a cadet But now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? What happened to you? This isn't like you! Okay. So I need a break on. Okay, Gemma, you've got to go first. Okay. Okay, and you gotta take this here. One, two, three. Dang it, of course. Now I've got to be defensive. That took me out. My first game over.
really do. That means I can skip all these. First, you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place. Do you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? If I go down, they can't revive me. And I just got completely pinned. The only problem is I need it active in order to activate it. Game. Not available. First, you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? No! Back off! Sorry, I thought you were amazing since you were a But now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? What happened to you? This isn't like you! My turn! Shut up! You don't know anything about anything! Then tell us! We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything! Come on. Give it to me, Arashi. I need to get better. You won't be killed. Hit him this time.
No. No. Come on. Up you go. Yep. And my goal is just to dodge for 40 seconds. Thank you. Get a hold of yourself. Sorry. Just let my guard down for a second. Watch you. Watch yourself. Get the member down. Please go support. I'm off. Get in the sheet. I'm out of it already. Making drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's... You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? Yep. I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. Good job, Arashi. Uh, well, why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karin's permission. <sighs> There's been a change in plans. I am canceling your assignment. Await your next orders. Ah. Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. Thank God. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Seiron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Seiron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Yeah, it is. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others, or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are, in fact, some people who've been forced to accept it. 
Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? His brain is... <laughs> Yuito. Yuito? <laughs> you okay? Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Huh? Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. Fine by me. I'm Oop. sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, did not mean to hit we my be mic. On a certain someone? That's right. Naomi. I'm coming, Naomi. Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. Works for me. <laughs> this is the first I've heard there was a communications log. Very observant. That was just a bluff. Luckily, it fooled them. I came in a different direction. I'm gonna run down and grab this then. <laughs> Very creepy area. Okay. I had no idea the drugs in the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. But brains? <laughs> that makes me no different. That's not true. You're still you. <laughs> Thank you. But I have to be honest. This is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. That sounds about right. Wait. I'll find a way to turn you back. So please don't give up. I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi. You undisciplined rats. I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now. Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm wow. sorry, Kasane. Come on, give me the information.
takes so long to run down this room. So, Ceyron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. They'll be able to do it. Why is Ceyron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? That's a good question. I suppose I should tell you what Ceyron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. The Extinction Belt? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others. Makes sense. While Ceyron believes they need the Extinction Belt. The different Why? views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Ceyron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Ceyron, on the other hand... Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Ceyron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the Extinction Belt. Kagero, what do you think would happen if the Extinction Belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. Of course he doesn't. More importantly, Kasane. What? What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. And Remember gone. Your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Yeah. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I don't I'm blame sorry. her. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beat red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything not. that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. 
Togetsu has Possibly. a long history and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. If you're really Probably. going there, you won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Investigation time. Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. And what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Seiron and the research facility and contact you if there's any change. Awesome. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy, I don't like the way this is going. Hey, Kagero. Talk to everyone. What was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken. Or he was bond, bond, no bond. No bond. No bond. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these Bond episodes knocked out. Oh, Kasane, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes, I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here, follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine, so I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy. But there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry, I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Kasane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? 
I mean just that. I want you to come to Ceyron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> Oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that. It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead. And you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, but she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Hasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Hmm, huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame, and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input, but I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame, but my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. 
No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts. But it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight, more or less. That may be true. But think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength. But I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though, so I guess this was okay. Kasane. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for... <clears throat> we'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shiden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka, was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, 
It's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. <clears throat> Kasane... It's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to... Stop her. Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shidem? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <gasps> Damn it. I should have known from the way it looked. No. Wake up, Shiden. <laughs> ah, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane. Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Um... I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. I can make you some porridge then. <laughs> I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours. I want to talk to Kyoka. Right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings, and it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. 
I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. Okay, try this now. He was there a great it goes. Mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills too? I'd much rather <laughs> use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Ah, uh, you're then too... that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. Okay, if you I'm say so. forward to it. I think that gets me all caught up. Actually, I'm gonna go to the shop and I'm gonna buy my supplies. Damn. And sell those. Oh my, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of options. Back out of this real quick. I need this a lot finally.
Uh, uh, fine for so, also, I think I'm going to keep this equipped for now. I need this to be mark six. So I can't even make this. Okay. Go ahead and rest. We can we go can on to the next phase. Hey Kasane, are we positively absolutely going to Togetsu? Of course we are. At the very least, we should be able to learn something about the cargo sent to the research facility. I understand that you have bad memories of that place. This time, we can make good memories of it. Yep. Or is there some other reason you don't want to go to Togetsu? If that's the case, nobody would blame you for staying behind. Do you want to stay behind with me? Ugh, fine. Just don't blame me if it sucks. I did warn you. We're prepared for the consequences. Kagero, show us the way. Yes, ma'am. Nice and icy from the look. I know they said it would be cold, but this is freezing. I heard that it snows all year round in some areas. Don't catch your death out there. <sighs> At least there's a road. What the hell do you think Togetsu is thinking building a city in a place like this? It's cold, it sucks, and it's a pain in the ass. I haven't even been this far on assignment before. Who's down for turning back? Everyone? Great. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Why does he keep wanting Enough us to leave? That. We already decided we're going, so stop complaining. I think you're going to regret it. You seem awfully opposed to this. Are you hiding something about Togetsu from us? Not at all. You know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like you're pretty eager to get us all there. It's something we all decided, didn't we, Kasane? Yep. Yes, and you agreed in the end. I wouldn't call that agreeing. <sighs> Can't win them all, I guess. In any case, we need information, and that requires us to go to Togetsu. Now stop complaining. It's freezing. And no more mentioning the cold. Why didn't she bring a jacket? Okay, let's run up the mountain. I don't even think I can get past it. Good, we managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Okay, so we can break those with just pure force. Got it. faces all the time that other attacked with explosions it's dangerous to get close i'm borrowing this all right it looks like it lost 
lost us. If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting. Ow. Be careful. Too slow. Try to dodge away, but. I'm just gonna let them blow up. These exploding ones are very annoying. Good. We managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Run, youngster. I can get them to... Okay, and dead. That just leaves these two. Always say that, Sheedan. I'm behind this one. I want it. Thank you. Normalization tab. That boring. Anything behind this?
got to be an easier way to break those. <coughs> Excuse me. Kill everything here. This is pretty good. Let's keep it moving. Good. We managed to break it. This we looks like a boss now. area. Okay, we're just not risking it. Okay, let me go, please. that with time to spare. There are lots of weird pieces of eye shaped like pillars or statues. What are they? That has been my question. Snowy areas where others are. No one knows how they're formed yet though. The mystery of the frozen wasteland. It's not surprising. It's so cool I can't think. And another save point. Oh, this might be the boss area. I didn't really have time to research Togetsu before we left. I don't know much about it either, other than the fact that the Togetsu Faith is headquartered there. How big is the city? Technically, it's not a city. It only has the facility for the Faith itself. It's full of weirdos with creepy obsessions about the moon. Honestly, the place was a nightmare. I don't think you should be calling them weirdos. People are free to believe what they want. Yep. You might not have many good memories, but I think it's important for you to make an effort to understand them. Yeah, yeah. A blizzard is kicking up. Haruka, what's the weather supposed to be like around here? That's strange. It should be clear and sunny according to the data. There aren't any readings of a blizzard. That doesn't sound oh, great. Closing in from the front. A big one. Be careful. <laughs> Is that other causing 
in the blizzard? This seems dangerous. Okay. Okay. Lend me your power. This thing is covered in water. It was foolish to face me. It was thanks to my power. Give it to me, Arashi. Guys, so dangerous, it's not even funny. Jesus. What? Of course, I got covered in water. Turn invisible. you don't you got this Kasan. going invisible Please, Connor. 
Nora. You. Now's not the time to rest. Guess slacking off is out of the question. Leave this. That punch is stupid strong. If you stay in its space too long, you'll catch one. The shell is broken. Aim for a weak spot. Show me what you got. It's up to you. And let's just hit it with everything I got. And it's done. Too easy. Now <clears throat> let's finish this. Just hit it with the boulder instead. Works for me. There are no more other readings in the area. Ugh. I'm always amazed at the variety of others. What exactly are others? Who knows? Could be the twisted work of evolution. How far is Togetsu? Isn't it dangerous that these others are appearing so close? Others feed on humans, which there aren't a lot of here, so they really don't have that much of an incentive to attack. Nuhimuka probably approved Togetsu's religious state because of this location. Let's hurry on ahead while we still have the chance. Probably. We don't want to run into another one. Also, oh, I'm starting to freeze like Arashi. Right. Hmm? Hey, Kagura, where are you going? What's over there? I thought I'd say hi to an old friend. I want to know if anything's changed since I was here last. Sorry I won't be able to show you around. You guys should go on ahead. I'll catch up to you soon. Don't worry, I've come this far. I'm not going to turn around and leave now. Well, see ya. That is so suspicious. I was hoping Kagura would stick around to introduce you, since no one knows you there. It's fine. We'll just have to do it ourselves. I hope they let us inside. <sighs> what is it, Kyoka? Oh, What's it's wrong with nothing. her? We should get going. It's almost like she seems nervous, but she's not the type to be nervous. Are you okay, Kyoka? Oh, oh, sorry. I shouldn't sigh. I just have a little headache. Like I always do. Well, don't work too hard. I'll do it! Gone. Go ahead and finish everything off as we go. All level two, they're stupid easy to kill. Let's 
save point. Go ahead and hit it. There's a resource reading near here. You should check it out. I actually need to walk away for just a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This way. you over here. Okay, let's heal everyone. Okay. Yay, level up. That was luck. Good. We managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. What do we got? Just a max jelly. Forward now. 
Yeah, another save point. I'm assuming this is Togetsu. Knock, knock, anyone home? Lady Kasane, our treasure. You have finally returned. What? What's going on? Why would I be your treasure? That's quite a welcome they're giving you. I don't know. It's still unsettling. They're like robots. Shiden, don't be rude. I'm sure it's just their custom. Either way, this is a pretty excessive reception. You have any idea why they do this? Not a clue. No. I've never been involved with the Togetsu faith in any way. You would understandably not remember. However, you are originally from Togetsu. I'm from here? Huh? Yes. You were born with an incredible power. This drew the interest of New Himoka, and they abducted you. I don't know what you're up to, but you're lying. My parents were killed by others when I was young. That's why the Randall family took me in. I understand your disbelief. However, those of us in Togetsu have not forgotten you for even a single day. We stood fast, having faith you would return to us one day. This, this is, is weird. getting us nowhere. We came here to ask questions. Let's scratch the formalities. We want to know about the brains you've been trading to Seiron. Yes, we must tell you the truth. However, we will share it only with you. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask you to come with us alone. No. Whatever you tell me, I'm going to tell them anyway. So why don't you save us the time and just talk to us here? What the? Kyoka? But your clothes are different, so it's not duplication. There's another fake Kyoka over here. What's going on? Teleporting too. Go! What the hell? Clones? How is this happening? What's going on? Kyoka, did you know? I'm sorry, Kasane. What the hell? This feeling. I felt it before. What is going Good on? Night, Kasane. May you have the most pleasant dreams. So wait, she's Togetsu? Congratulations, Kasane. You're finally awake. Kasane? Kasane! Who... Who is calling my name? <laughs> what is going on? Look at that! It's a puppy! Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think he's simply adorable. Wouldn't you agree? Puppy? I feel so safe and warm. Do I know this woman? <laughs> oh, I think she's okay, been okay. stabbed. The puppy. That's right. I remember. We were always together, my beloved friend. They killed him. They killed him right in front of me. No change. Her power failed to trigger. It seems the pet's death is not a sufficient enough shock. Please stop. Kasane is just a child. Do you think emotionally torturing her will actually save the future? The design children were created for that purpose. She is not a failure like you. 
We need the red strings to reset this mistaken universe and bring about the proper future. What the hell? We don't need to reset anything. This world is fine the way it is. It's mother. Design and children? And kind. She always protected me. How could I have forgotten? No, I don't want to remember. This feeling. What is this? She has been a complete failure. I had thought making her an attendant would at least prove somewhat useful. I guess enough time has passed. We'll use this next. That's right. I knew it. They... You should feel honored, you failure. You will become the foundation of a new era. That's messed Killed up. Mother. I'm sorry, Kasane. Please find <laughs> happiness. This it is a very it is an interesting That's game. Right. That's the day it, I lost her. The one who raised me. I have no idea what is going on. I'm an artificially created psionic? This is very interesting. It's too bad I have to end soon. Because I won't even be on tomorrow. I have to get up early and go on a long drive. Where am I? Was that a dream? No, that wasn't a dream. It was memories of a forgotten past. Where am I? If they went through the trouble of drugs, I know me, it. It sucks, but I, I promised my best friend I would go me. see them. Maybe I can break through somewhere. Who's there? Lady Kasane, I have brought you fresh clothing. <laughs> huh? Hey. What's going on? Whoa, chill. Don't get your panties in a bunch, Kasane. It's just me, good old Kagero. What kind of princess attacks their prince charming when he comes to rescue her? Your decision to run off just before we entered Togetsu was pretty suspicious. What do you know? Are you planning on betraying us like Kyoka? If I was going to betray you, I wouldn't be here to rescue you. Why don't you calm down and use your head? I told you you'd regret coming here. Eh, uh, you did. Anyway, I'll explain later. This place is bad news. It's way worse than the last time I was here. Also, and I haven't a clue as to why, but it seems like Yuito's here too. Yuito? That's not good. They're after my red strings, which means they'll probably target him too because he has the same power. Then I guess we'll have to save him too. This really puts a damper on my plans. What was your plan? I believe I have to sneak past their defenses, meet up with Arashi and the others, and also warn Yuito about the danger. Anyway, I'm going to use my power to turn us invisible. They'll figure out you're gone right away, so we don't have much time. Let's go. Do you know where Yuito is? We'll know where Yuito, Arashi, and everyone else is if we use Babe. Babe? It's the city computer that integrates all information in Togetsu. It's like Arahabaki and Yuhimuka. Why are you walking so slow? Kasane? Thank God you're okay. I can't contact Arashi and the others. They might be closed in somewhere. We can unlock all these doors from Babe's terminal. Let's hurry. Uh. Okay. Now I can move at normal speed. Thank goodness. Kasane, I found Yuito. You see that door? It leads to the city computer, babe. We should follow them inside. Oopsies. It's locked. 
They won't be able to hear us from in there. We'll have to wait until they come out. Are you serious? Think about what they just did to you. He probably wouldn't be able to answer even if he could hear you. What do you mean? Babe is a super top secret facility. They're not just gonna go ahead and let some outsider in so easily. But if they used it as bait... Oh, I see. <laughs> Those wily Wait. bastards. What is it? Tell me. I'm thinking that a computer belonging to the city would be fully capable of hijacking any mind that accesses it. That'd be the fastest way for them to get to Yuito's power. Oh, crap. And we have to break down this door right now. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We'll be found, too. That's probably the worst thing we could do. There's got to be another way. I know. I might be able to force a brain talk connection from here. Can you hear me, Yuito? <clears throat> Yuito. Yuito! This feels like... And that's a yes. Yuito, are your thoughts leaking? Are you trying to connect to Babe? What is... I can't... My body... Is his brain really being hijacked like Kagura said? Uh -oh. Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous. Cut the connection now. Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. He's talking to his team while I'm still connected. I think he's safe now. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu, too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. Wait, if he unlocks everything... Uh oh. Alarms. Guess that was to be expected. Kasane. Kasane? Are she? Good. I can finally get through to you. Seems like you're okay. Oh, good. They're I'm both glad okay. You're okay, too, she then. <clears throat> Let's rendezvous. I know where you are, so just wait for me to get there. Hey, I'm not some kind of lost child. I'll take care of the lost little boy. Hurry up and get us. <laughs> Rescue mission time. Looks like you two aren't hurt. <laughs> of course not. I was more worried about you, but it looks like you're fine. Thanks to Kagero, I'd still be locked up if it wasn't for him. I guess it means your shady lone wolf nature came in handy. Guess so. Now, as much as I'd love to stick around for this touching, heartwarming reunion, time is of the essence here. You're right. We should try to escape in all this confusion. Sounds good to me. Let's get out of here. I was thought Kyoka even was so innocent and didn't have a dishonest bone in her body. I can't believe she's a Togetsu spy. You didn't meet her before, Kagero? No, never. Residents of Togetsu almost never communicate with each other. Reading Guess we were in there for quite a while. Considering all the ice is back. Good. We managed 
managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Okay, did we get away? Looks like we made it out. Man, my invisibility power really saved the day. I'll admit that invisibility is useful, but doesn't it make you uneasy to have nobody notice you? Right? You totally get me. That's why I like to shout after I use my power. Damn you and your impulses. We're still in enemy territory. What if someone finds us? No Good question. Worry about that. They've already found us. Right, Kyoka? Crap. So you noticed me. What are you doing here, Kyoka? I was already on alert when Kagero disappeared. Unfortunately, an unexpected visitor caused me to fall behind. I can't let you leave. We need you to reset this mistaken universe. Here she comes. Get ready. What is wrong with her? Okay. Wait a second. Explain what's going on. Right. Why did you betray us? It was all to undo past That's why we need you. Cool demeanor. Just like the Kyoka I met so long ago. It's up to you. My mission always comes first. I'll support you. Boy. Another one. You got this, Kasane. Come on, up you go. Can you take it? Not that. That's a lifesaver. It was close. Kyoka! Move! Show me what you got. Run, youngster! Okay. Okay, everyone else. You're not going to like this ending. There you go. Mine. 
I'm not Pope. What? what are you talking about? Have your memories been manipulated? I wouldn't put something like that past Togetsu. Kyoka, you have to remember, you're Kyoka Eden, our teammate. I'm not sure that's going to work. If what I think happened really did, Kyoka's consciousness is the one that got tagged on after. I don't know how much you know, but she's trying to fight whatever they did to her memory. If you can do something, help her. You want to help her even though she's a Togetsu spy? Oh, stuff it, Kagero. I want to get my teammate back. Yeah, yeah. Kyoka. No. Major Kyoka. I... I'm losing sight of who I am as well. But so many memories are helping me piece myself together as Kasane Randall. One of those memories is you welcoming me into Kyoka Platoon. You're Kyoka Eden. You're the commander who made me who I am. Kasane! Everyone! Next save point's gonna be the end point. Are you okay? Sorry. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've cost you. Kyoka, I'm so relieved. You're back. Not so fast. As much as I'd like that to be true, she could just be pretending. Arashi! I thought you wanted to bring Kyoka back! Sorry, but I'm not an idealist posing as a realist like you. I'm skeptical precisely because I want her back. Yes. You're right to be skeptical. I... I really am a spy for Togetsu. Since when? How long have you been deceiving us? Since the beginning. I'm a Togetsu spy sent in to infiltrate Holy Suda. crap! We needed to awaken Kasane's power in order to fulfill Togetsu's agenda. My orders were to secretly protect Kasane, help her grow, and then lead her back to Togetsu once her Red String's power was awakened. I see. If you're planning on putting your espionage behind you, then I want you to tell me something. Who is Pope? Does it have to do with the way you acted? I have the memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the neuroscience expert and founder of the Togetsu faith. Oh. I used to be Dr. Pope herself a long time ago. But as I spent my years as Kyoka, Kyoka's memories began to build on each other, and they continued to grow stronger every day. It was only a matter of time before her personality took hold. Kasane, I didn't protect you because I was ordered to by Togetsu. I loved you. I loved you and everyone else on the team. Honestly, I loved everything about my life as Kyoka Eden. I knew this day would come, but I prayed so hard that it wouldn't. I had always hoped that your red string's power would never awaken. Not that you would believe me. Whether we believe you isn't important. What do you want to do? What? Arashi said you should only answer if you thought you're done being a spy. And you did. Are you planning on going back to Togetsu and spy for them again? What is it that you want to do? You still haven't told us yet. No. I... I... I am one of the design children. A clone that was created to carry out my mission. That was all I was required to think about. Failure means death. That used to be everything to the old me. But now it's different. Now, I have something I want to do. What is it? I can't be sure how much I can hold back Pope's consciousness. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to suppress it. So, being with me might put everyone in danger. I know what I did is unforgivable. And that I'm in no position to ask you for anything, but... This is where I want to be. With all of you. I want to protect Kasane. I want to protect all of you. Because you gave my life meaning. I believe you. I couldn't imagine that the warmth and kindness I've witnessed from you were all lies. 
You may be a little nosy from time to time, but that's just who you are. Yeah, that's the Kyoka I know. If that was an act, then we deserve to be tricked. And don't worry, if this Pope ever does come out, I'll put you out of your misery. You can be assured of that. So basically, you're saying you'll kill her if she betrays us. That's kind of scary. That is. It's nice you could joke about it. But unlike Kyoka, who told us everything, you haven't done anything to earn our trust. Ouch, that hurts. You know, I'm the one who saved Kasane. Look, we can talk about me once we get out of here. I'm guessing they'll send more people after us when they realize Kyoka is missing. That's true. Well, let's hurry then. Come on, Kyoka. You too. Works for me. <sighs> Nobody here objects, so obviously you're coming. Thank you, all of you. I wonder why I'm so obsessed with the term design children. I'll have to ask about it again later. Fair enough. I'm sorry I made you worry too, Haruka. Th that's okay. All I could do was watch, but... I'm glad you came back. Welcome home. Could be a save point around here somewhere. This is pretty good. More cutscenes. Kasane, I'm getting multiple human readings some distance away. I believe it's Yuito Platoon. Copy that. Seems like they made it out too. Would be nice if we could exchange information with them. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes. Yep. But we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hino Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Works for me. If we're exchanging information, what are we going to tell them about Kyoka? I think we should tell them the truth. I just feel we'll regret it later if we try to hide it. Probably. Besides, there's something about Togetsu I haven't been able to tell you yet. But let's wait until we meet up with Yuito and his team. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to know what it is. But yeah, it'll be more efficient to hear it then. Well, let's head their way then. I use duplication because fighting my way down. As long as I'm getting these, it'll keep resetting. Okay, this will be the save point. Thanks for watching.